So from in this flow, it will take a one to many association because uh, lazy initialization and uh, cascading will mainly used for a one to one to many association. One to many, yeah. Yes. Now, Hashum, you have one department mm. and uh, with many employees. Mm. Okay, that's association, and even we are not discussing our project here. Leave it. We are trying to save the department. So, department. Okay, that's our operation. So, for, for every project class, we must add here. Eh? If you are using annotation configuration, no need. Com dot who want to mini dot employee. Then one more classes. This is nothing but department. Okay, these are the two classes what we have. So assume I want to save one department into the database and uh, with corresponding employees. Okay, that's our code. So we have department and uh, one department equal to new department and the department ID. So department is one ID. Department dot set name. The department ID alternative we can't set it. So I show this IT department. Now I have two employees also with me. Okay, employees. So employee and employee. Employee dot set ID. Something called one. Employee dot set employee name with the we have one more employee. Inara Tungra Tambi. Class start one on a Tungra. So two. This is with B. And uh, these two employees belongs to that department. So department dot get department employees dot add. This employee one and employee two. So assume in the object model, one department is going to be having two employees. What is added? Okay, department is having add method. It's a it's a collection there. Where add? It's one collection. Okay. Now. Object model having means one object is going to be having two employee objects. Now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to save, okay, department. I'm trying to save only department alone. I'm not saving employees. Okay, department having two employees. Yeah. Now get your my ask. Yeah, desktop. 
desktop on now. Your desktop. Maybe. So, talk that new data is ABC. Database. Yes, okay. Yeah, this. Solid exist. Doesn't exist. Okay. Solid drop. Hi. Abhishek. Bollywood hero. Not hero. <laughs> so now you are here. Yeah, this. Sorry. So they are asking this one out in Ibernet. Okay. Now see. Uh, object model having two employee objects. So when you are executing this code. Now what happened? It will insert department information alone. Okay, mm -hmm. it won't insert in place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it is inserted, uh, but insertion is going to only on the department. It is not inserted on the employees. But our assumption was one department should have the many employees that relationship. So to avoid this one, what we need to do? So before saving the department, mm -hmm. so we need to save the employees also. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to save the employees also. So then only. Okay, that association will come over there. So now save these but two employees. But department is having two employees, right? Why you oh, oh, oh. That's that's only in the object model, not in the relational model. Oh, okay. In the relational model, department alone is getting inserted. Okay. But in the object model, no problem. Department is going to be having the employees. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that problem, so we need to save employees mm -hmm. first. Then we need to get that employee reference to okay. department. Oh, okay. So then only your association will come over there. So now if you execute this code, now it will insert all employees and as well as corresponding departments also. Inserted two employees. It creates relationships. Yes, also. then we got the relationship in the joint table. Actually we are using joint table here. Mm -hmm. No, it's not joint table. It's a one to many association with joint table only we are doing. Now in case assume we want to store 100 employees in the sense we need to save those employees first then only we need to store this mm -hmm. department so to avoid this approach we can bring the concept of cascades okay so whenever you do operation on the source object the same operation need to be reflected for the associated object also in the sense then bring the cascades approach so what's cascade in the sense here like a, here you can apply cascade which type of cascade you need so whenever I do insertion on the department, your, yeah, corresponding be. employees also need to be get inserted into the database. So we have cascade types here. Uh, we have JPA standard cascade types and we have Ibernate standard cascade types also. So if you need JPA standard cascades in the sense, uh, use this enumeration from the Java X dot boss systems. Okay. If you need Ibernate cascades in the sense, from Octa, Ibernate or annotation. Okay. So JPA given these four cascades like uh, all means all crude operations okay. and uh, otherwise persist mm -hmm. or remove refresh merge you can understand those things mm -hmm. and the detach whenever a department object is getting detached and the employees also get detached okay that's the uh, this is going to be jpa standard cascades okay so if i don't need jpa standard cascades in the sense then you people can use the cascades from the Hibernate cascade also, you know, hybrid cascade is somewhat advanced to cascade types. Uh, you can give, like, I need save and as well as update. Save update, okay, okay. Okay, like you can have some uh, specific cascades we have over there. So, if you need these things, you can go with that uh, hybrid specific also. It's up to you, okay, which type of cascade you need. So, now I can put my cascade is going to from Java X dot power system itself. So, now whenever department is going to get inserted, corresponding files also need to be updated. You know, I'll put all now. So when you are putting all cascades here, now look here, if there is cascades, now we people can skip uh, employee, saving employees, doing the operations with your associated objects, you can work with only main objects. So that's called cascade type. So which type of cascade you need? Right. I think uh, the tables not get deleted previously. So you are able to get executed. So this is a concept of cascades. You are using create update. Huh? Only insertion. No, in huh? the conversion file. Create update. Conversion I think file. it's an update. Uh, okay. create. Let's keep the create. Okay. So that's called cascades. Okay. Apply it. The operations on the source object, the same thing need to be reflected on the associated objects. Okay. 
cash can that's it and what is available that the tunnel we don't need to hmm? that all the things we do all means it will come everything ah, everything it will come mm-hmm. but you should not apply all because you know sometimes uh, when you are get, uh, inserting the department you can't insert the employees sometimes it's up to you okay based on the entity relationship you need to apply okay okay all entities will not have all caskets mm-hmm. okay it's going to up to you based on your entity design now we will come to one more concept of what we discussed is uh, it's called wait, wait, wait. lazy initialization open this mm. this one, this one.